and hello survivors welcome back to another different year to video my name is jimmy shreds and today i'm gonna be doing complete easter uh, event guide i'm gonna leave down in the description uh, my socials and also link to my uh, membership for the youtube if you want to support me let's roll now first off we're gonna talk about craftable event items which items should we focus on so these are the items that we have now in my opinion, shotgun should be a primary thing to craft uh, this one if it's gonna be a weapon for your main character. Mask should be a primary craft if you're not going for the shotgun at first because we can use this mask on multiple builds due to its stats. If your main character is shotgun build, I do try to craft a few shotguns to min-max or if you don't want to bother with it, you can just upgrade shotgun for 500 credits. You just need this one. To be able to craft one and these are the minimum stats you can get so i'll also leave uh, the review for the king solution down in the description that i did the video uh if you're curious about the shotgun performance the max stats on the king solution no, non-upgraded one are 50 percent body damage 50 percent headshot damage 45 attack speed 45 mutated damage 66 find unique item chance the max stats for the uh, for the mask, I'm not 100% sure on this one, but should be 55% mutated, 50% attack speed, 25 dodge cooldown, 50 find unique, 55 body damage, and 55 headshot damage. When it comes to the Easter upgrades attachments, these ones, I would only craft uh, Leperin Souls. If I was planning to craft some, or you can just buy them off the market if you don't want to bother with crafting them. You can do also that. These are really, really good ones. In my opinion, they are better than the soft soles when it comes to upgrades for the feet or boots, however you want to call it. Now, low-level items are all, like, really, really good. And I do say it's a personal preference. Uh, I would just not advise using melee. Or a chainsaw as your main weapon. I will use a pistol as a main weapon for like a bossing and killing infected if you want. And I do use chainsaw as a static and I do use a melee weapon uh, when I go loot. So that's that how I do it, in my opinion. That's how I advise you if you were planning to craft them. But as I said, all of these are really good. They can help you with leveling, especially if you're a new player. So you can craft all of these if you want, if you have time on your hands. Now, I'm gonna talk about how to get cracked eggshells which is this material you can get them by doing easter event missions and by doing purple zones that's pretty much the way it is it's, it's really simple and easy now i'm gonna show you where the place is for the easter event missions this is located currently right here at the haverbrook called the brother shop we're gonna go there right now okay we are at the location right here Butter shop gonna enter now so there are two npcs that have daily missions which gives each gives 20 cracked eggshells per each these missions reset daily and the requirements can be different so we have these two npcs i've already taken missions so this one on the on the right which has a above his head he's always gonna ask for some kind of a food so it's either gonna be like uh, candy chocolate bar condensed milk uh, chocolate spread i might miss something this other one will ask for the for the for you to kill the boss called Leaper in the purple zone or kill some uh, bunny zombies. As you can see, if you talk to him, this is what he said: mask Leaper, and you get twenty cracked eggshells. So this one today is asking for candy. We you need always three. Oh, you're always gonna need the three of the food items. So remember that. So we're gonna turn this in. As you can see, we have it. And I get twenty. There you go. Now, have in mind. That these guys have multiple missions so after you do this don't forget to check what is the next mission if you want to do so this one is going to probably ask for yeah help survivors so they're asking us to do five missions around pale haven that we can do any kind of a mission and when we do five missions you see it says here we can come back to him and we can get more uh, correct actions so don't forget to check all these guys they have multiple missions one after the other i'm not sure is there more after the second mission and, and it didn't go that far so that's about the missions now we're gonna move on to the purple zones i'm gonna show you show you the 
what you can do but you know there's really not much to say you just need to be properly geared to do this and just heal the enemies inside the purple zone keep the distance and don't get fooled by purple zone level requirements some are way harder than they should be example like level 10 and 15 ones I would highly advise you to do their purple zones in MMO lobbies because it's very hard or pretty much impossible for new players. Plus, it's not worth doing it solo due to low cash reward from them. Like, it's just, you know, very low. And if you really need... Uh, I would only do them if you're really in need of multiple crafts. I would only do the purple zones then. Uh, you'll do just fine with the Easter Daily missions, which I showed you right here. And I'm going to show you now how this purple zone looks like. Enjoy.
and those are the purple zones you can do i forgot to mention i have the video which uh, i did the mask leaper one i do not have it in this video there is a separate video i'll uh, leave it down in the description i'll leave a link to it so if you want to watch it well anyways we've come to an end i hope this was helpful there is really not much to say thank you for watching i'm gonna leave down in the description as i said my socials if you have any questions please do not hesitate to ask in the comments leave your feedback whatever i'm also gonna leave my uh, youtube membership if you wanna support me and that'll be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching as always and i wish you a happy easter thing like time survivors peace